Dawda, Chi Jerry Johnson, Nicola Gunshe, Tano Patchy, and Schlenny, he pays in Yugunshle. Hello, my name is Jerry Johnson Nicola and I live in Payson on the Tonto Apache Indian Reservation of which I am a member of. Today I want to share with you a little bit of history. Indian fry bread. When I was a little girl my mother used to make fry bread and she taught me how to make it and her mother before her taught her. When my mother was uh, a little girl she had to cook outdoors. They used the fat off the animals to make the grease to cook the fried bread in and cook all other staples in. And today I have the luxury of using a gas stove or electric, you know, like many of us do. So I'm going to demonstrate to you Jerry J's authentic Indian fry bread mix of which I'm marketing and there's a pound of fry bread mix in here. Everything is included. Let's begin. And I will open this in a bowl. Open the container in a bowl and reserve a little bit of flour so in case it gets sticky that you need to, you know, make it pliable. And you just add the water as if you were making regular bread or yeast bread for those of you that never made fry bread. And my, my recipe is very simple. You just mix it with your hands. And in the mix is about enough to make eight. And this is how it should look as you're making the mix. It's a little sticky, so I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of my reserve, put it in here, and continue to mix it. And of course you let it sit for like about 10 minutes, cover it with a damp cloth or a wet paper towel. And by the time you roll them up, they should look like this. This is a damp dish towel and there are the eight fry bread balls. And now that we have made the dough into little balls, we're gonna fry it up in hot oil. And what, what I've what I'm doing is uh, putting my little ball of dough in the reserve flour so it won't be so sticky. And I'm working it with my, between my thumbs and I will be flipping it between the palm of my hands like this as I was taught when I was a little girl. And it, it took a lot of practice for me to develop this skill. And for those of you that can't do this, it's okay to roll it out on a floured surface and don't make it too thin nor leave it too thick and this is just about right here so and then what you do next is carefully put it into the hot oil take your fork and you can hear the sizzling of the bread as it's cooking and it's bubbling up and with the hot oil it should take oh no more than 30 seconds on each side so maybe less and then it's still bubbling in the hot oil and I'm getting my bowl ready so that I can put it in there and I will check to see if it's ready and it is ready and this is what it looks like and then you put it into a bowl that's got paper towel in it and you sop it up. And look how delicious that looks. Yum, yum. Once I've cooked the fry bread, I'm going to make an Indian taco. It is, I'm going to come over and put some beans. Some beans. A little bit of cheese. Lettuce. Onions. Diced tomatoes. And top it off with more cheese. And we fold it over. And this is a taco. 
a real Apache traditional Indian taco. Very delicious and very awesome. Because of the many co compliments, I have come up with a fry bread mix. I'm calling it Jerry J's Authentic Indian Fry Bread Mix. In the mix, everything you need is in there. All you have to do is add water and mix it up and cook it up in hot oil. And it's still delicious as my mother has always made it, as I recalled. So I hope you all go out and get a can of Jerry J's Fry Bread Mix and enjoy the light fluffiness of Jerry J's Indian Fry Bread.